everyone. Welcome to our webinar on the topic of, uh, you know, document management using SharePoint, right? And uh, basically, I'll take you to the next slide. Yeah, so basically, uh, we we all have been, you know, working with different recruiters, different recruiting users, you know, day-to-day -day life while we work with success factors, right? So specifically in recruiting, what happens is that, you know, uh, we collect a lot of documents from candidates, right? during the application phase, right? So some documents can be collected during new application, which are, you know, required for initial screening. Then some documents might be collected at interview stage for further, you know, final selection of the candidate. And then some documents might come during offer, right? Now uh, we have spoken to, you know, various uh, customers of ours, various recruiting users. And what we understood that, you know, managing these documents in, into the recruiting journey, right? Becomes a little tedious for them. And the problem statements that we, you know, uh, kind of gathered from them is currently on your screen, right? So what we have heard from them is that, you know, uh, when we, they collect documents into different, different statuses, right? Or that's how we call it in, in you know, in hiring uh, journey, right? We call statuses in, in the success factor pipeline, right? Recruiting pipeline. So they say that we collect certain documents in new application status and then cert certain things we collect during screening, certain things, uh, documents we collect during, you know, interview and then so on, like an offer we collect it, right? And if at all we want to view all these documents, right? Then based on the permissions, some, sometimes it happens that, you know, certain permissions are given only in particular statuses to the recruiters or the recruiting users. So what they have to do is basically they have to, you know, move the candidate back to those statuses and then look at those particular documents, right? And in, in such case, it becomes very difficult for them that if they want to have a holistic view of all the candidate documents that they have collected, right, one by one, then, then that gets a challenge. That becomes a challenge for them, right? So that's one of the problem statements. Second is basically if they have to download these documents. So let's say uh, during the recruiting journey, right, they those documents are needed for various reasons. Sometimes they download it because they have to, you know, kind of do a security clearance offline. That's a third party system where they have to download these documents, right? And then they have to upload these documents, you know, for certain, you know, visa clearance or security clearance, right? So in that case, what happens again, the same, you know, uh, challenge comes into picture, right? They have to kind of go into status by status or field by field, click on each of the field one by one, right? And then kind of download that, right? And, and then, Basically, you know, it's it's kind of a tedious recruiter journey. They have to do a lot of manual tasks over there, right? Like basically go into each status, drag the candidate into each status, click on each of the field, then download that, right? Then store it onto your system, you know, and then basically, you know, send it to uh, uh, to the third party or upload it into the third party system. Same thing happens when they want to print it, right? They have to kind of, you know, take it one by one, right? Print each of the document one by one by clicking on them, right? So it, it gets the recruiter journey gets a little, you know, tricky. Little, little difficult, right? So that that is a problem, right? Another thing what we heard from, uh, you know, our our uh, recruiting users is that uh, because they are collecting documents in recruiting at various stages, stages, right? And then comes a point where they have to initiate the onboarding. Like let's talk about the standards recruiting to onboarding integration, right? Success factor system. So they have to initiate the onboarding. So the limitation currently is that these documents will not get transferred into onboarding, right, automatically. So how do we do that? Like, what can we do basically, right, to help the recruiters? Otherwise, what they will have to do is basically, you know, again, the same thing, download each of them one by one, and then, you know, upload it into the onboarding system, right? Uh, otherwise, what happens most of the time is that the onboarding or the recruiting users ask the candidate to go back into onboarding, like basically to go into onboarding system, right? Once onboarding has been initiated and re-upload the documents that they have already uploaded during recruiting journey, right? So that's, that's a, you know, that's not a good candidate experience, I would say. Candidates most of the time feel like we have already provided you these set of documents. Why is that I am being asked to upload the same set of documents again in onboarding? Right, so that basically hits, uh, takes a hit on the candidate, uh, you know, experience. Right, so with that, we're keeping these problem statements in mind, uh, we came up with a solution. Right, and and uh, that's what I would like to show you through a demo, quick demo. Right, and I'll take you to the system. Right, and I'll show you how does it look as of now, and what we have developed. Right, currently we we are you know upgrading our system. Right, to include, I'll show you while I go, uh, while I on the go, right, I'll, I'll show you that particular solution as well, right? So let me take you to the system. 
and then we will talk about you know what is as is and what we have developed as a solution right so let's take an example right here we have a candidate right uh, the name is rahul samson let's say so just to save time what i've done i've i've skipped the profile creation and application process right and i've already applied to a job right and here i have you know kind of applied to this particular job and if you see here then i have uploaded certain documents right so here these are right so passport national id medical doc police verification doc etc right so i've already loaded these now if the recruiter has to you know kind of download these documents or look at these documents they have to click on this one by one yeah and then they would be able to download a you know print or have a look at this document right and this is the challenge that i was talking about so let's say four documents are collected initially and then four documents are collected during interview stage and three four documents are collected during offer stage then overall right the the journey for the recruiter becomes you know becomes a little heavy right now the solution that we have developed is basically we have integrated our success factor system with sharepoint okay sharepoint is a system as you all are aware right so what happens in this case is something that i'm going to show you right so what i'll do i'll i'll just tell you a story right just assume that it's a story a candidate has applied in new application right and now we have kind of you know taken them through the screening process right so i'll move the candidate to screening okay and then from screening let's say shortlist is done interview one right so uh, we are taking the candidate into interview one status where you know the further interview will uh, interviews will be scheduled with the candidate and and they will be going through the rounds of interview right so now let's assume that the interview also has taken place background check is completed and then assessment also is done right so now i'll move the candidate to offer right just for the sake of the story right and let's say the offer creation has happened right offer approval has happened right so com compensation details everything is discussed right candidate has accepted the offer as well let's assume that right for our story right and now after everything right we have created a status called document transfer right now in this particular status what will happen like whatever documents we have collected right these documents can be basically you know transferred to sharepoint which is a single folder where you should be able to like as a recruiter you should be able to you know see all the documents in one single place right for that particular candidate and that folder also can be named according to you know certain naming conventions like the folder name will be job requisition title job requisition id and then the candidate name and candidate id like right? we can we can basically build that right so that becomes it easy for you to identify that okay this particular folder is for which job requisition and for which particular candidate right so let's look at that so now i'll move the candidate to document transfer okay click on apply and okay so i have two candidates over here rahul samson is our current candidate right and the whole test is the previous candidate basically right now at this point the moment i have dropped the application into document transfer this interface will run our interface that integrates recruiting management system of success factor to the sharepoint right and now if i click on the candidate application oh, we should yeah here it is right so if you see we have the attachments loaded over here and we created a field right which says like sharepoint link for candidate documents right and just into a particular field you are getting the link of all the documents you don't need to log into sharepoint right the ease of access is like you know amazing you just have this particular link all you need to do is you know just click on this particular link right it takes you to sharepoint because you already have an account there right and we have a you know, single sign on also would be enabled for you over there right so just with a single click basically you are landing into sharepoint site right where you can see that okay into this particular folder for candidate xyz for job requisition you know 2729 this candidate rahul samson with candidate application id 3480 and these are the documents that are basically you know uploaded by the candidate so in one go basically you get to you know kind of download so just you can select all these over here right and you can download all of them in one go right so with that your life becomes easy right you don't need to you know kind of move the candidate from status to status and then click on each of the fields you know to look at their particular attachments right and and then you know, just in one single place you are getting all the documents right now one good thing about this is that you know you get to decide you as a customer get to decide that 
let's say you are collecting 12 documents from the candidate in recruiting journey, right? So you get to decide basically that out of 12, how many you would like to send to, you know, SharePoint. Probably six of them are not you know, not good to have in SharePoint, right? Because you don't use them. It is just for some kind of verification during recruiting journey, right? But six of them is something that you want to download quickly on your system and you would not want to upload into third party system, right? So for that particular purpose, those six can be integrated. Those six fields or those six attachment fields can be integrated with SharePoint, right? And they, those only those particular, you know, documents can be sent over here. So the bottom line is that you get to decide out of 10 documents that you are collecting, how many you would like to share, send to SharePoint, right? That's that's one good thing, right? Also, another thing that you get to decide is basically in which of the status you would like to trigger this particular integration, right? Now, in this scenario, we have used the document transfer, you know, uh, status. This is the recommendation, recommended status, basically, right? Like, basically, after offer, we could be able to send all the, you know, uh, documents to SharePoint. But again, the second thing that you get to decide is that among this particular pipeline that you would be having in which status or statuses, either one status or multiple statuses, you would like to, you know, send these documents on to SharePoint, right? So let's say during shortlist, you would like to send three documents. So one integration can be triggered over here, right? And then during offer, you would like to do the second round of, you know, integration, second round of document updates into SharePoint. So the second integration can be sent over here, right? Or if you would like to have it how we have it here, like in just in one particular status, let's say document transfer, you would like to send the you know documents to SharePoint, then it's also possible, right? So that's the that's the you know uh, solution that we have developed. Now, how does it help? How does it help to our customers? So basically, what I'm talking about is the solution, right? So it helps in collating all the specific candidate application documents in a single folder, right? Again, you get to decide what you would like to send and what you would like to keep it in, in SFRCM, right? You get the freedom to choose the status, as I stated, right? Basically, you can decide which status you would like to trigger this particular integration, right? And then you and we can configure that for you, right? Third thing, ease of access, as you can already see, right? When I was clicking on multiple fields, right? You, you would have felt that pain, right? That uh, how a recruiter basically, you know, they have to, they have to download each of these, right? They have to click on this one, download, right? Then again, they have to go here, click on this one, then click and download, right? Again, go here go for medical doc, click here, and then click on this particular link to download, right? For police verification, again, click here and click on this link to download. So it's tedious, right? But as I showed you with our solution, it's very easy. Everything, just all that you have to do is just move your candidate into a status, right? And the recruiting documents basically are sent to SharePoint. Done. Just go click on this particular link, you know, just click on this link. It'll take you to SharePoint. Click here, download all of them, right? So as easy as that. So that's the third thing. Ease of access, you know, of downloading the candidate documents. And and if you wish to, you know, load them to your third party verification. Another advantage is that if, if you are an onboarding specialist, right, then you get all the candidate document at one place. You don't need to go to a recruiter to ask them has the candidate loaded XYZ document, right? And the recruiter says that, oh, let me check into the system and I'll get back to you in another hour, right? And then the recruiter goes and tells them that, oh, I checked it and these XYZ documents are available in the system. Let's say police verification, medical, right? All these are available, right? So this, this communication gap also, you know, adds a lot to the complexity. But let's say a world where we have provided the access of this link, you know, to this particular field and this link to onboarding specialist, they click on this link, they get to see all the required onboarding related documents into a particular folder. Very easy for them, download all that, you know, and then use it into their onboarding process, either upload it, right? Or they can basically just have a verification of it, right? And then decide on their further onboarding process where the candidate can be moved into further onboarding processes or not, right? So that way, you know, the recruiter's journey, the candidate's journey, the onboarding specialist journey also, you know, becomes very nice, very easy, very good, right? And then towards the end, as we all have been speaking, it leads to a good candidate and recruit experience, right? So this particular solution, if, if you wish to have it, if you wish to take it, if you deploy it, right? Basically, it is streamlining your document management that we are currently having into SFRC.
if you have any questions, you can drop that into the note. I'm hoping that, you know, as of now, till the, now we are clear on the solution that we have developed, right? And now there are certain things that I would like to discuss with you. That's prerequisites, right? Prerequisites of getting the solution implemented into your environment, right? The first prerequisite is that you should have a SharePoint system, obvious, right? <laughs> I shouldn't have written this, but again, obvious that you should have a SharePoint system, right? Then second thing is access controlled for users for the SharePoint folders, right? So you will have a SharePoint admin, right, in your company. You will have to make sure that access to these folders are, you know, controlled for the recruiters or for the onboarding specialist based on your you know, business process, whatever you need. Whoever wants to access these folders, it should be only limited, you know, access to those particular folders over there, right? So that nobody else, non-recruiting users shouldn't, get into your folders and should not get access to the candidate data. Yeah. So that's second thing. Yeah? Access control for users for the SharePoint folders, right? Then third thing is clearance from the data privacy and security team for storage of data in SharePoint, right? Now, because this is, this is another system, right? We are integrating two systems here, right? So we are sending the candidate data onto SharePoint system. So you'll have to make sure that you engage your data privacy and security team, right? You kind of discuss this scenario with them. And, and take the clearance for them, from them that basically we are going to store the data in SharePoint, right? And we kind of need your advice on that. What are our company policies, right? You know, guide us on that. And then you take a clearance from them, right? And the last one is define the data purge policies in SharePoint as per the GDPR, right? So we all know the global data privacy rules, right? So as per the GDPR, basically you need to sit with your data privacy team and the security team, right? and uh, talent acquisition and whoever, whichever team needs to be involved in, in this process, right? You all will have to sit and define the data purge policy in, in SharePoint, yeah? So that at limited intervals or at a given interval, you know, these data should be cleaned out of SharePoint system and they do not keep sitting there for two to three years altogether, yeah? So that's something as a prerequisites we have mentioned. I hope, you know, these prerequisites are clear to you. you know? And we are hoping if it is really, clear it's nice if you have any questions any queries related to our solution then please feel free you know drop us a note and we will be very happy to you to, to answer those queries for you yeah thank you so much looking forward to talk to you all in next session with a new topic thanks a lot finisha over to you do we have any open questions finisha can you check that Not really. Um, guys, if you have any questions, please uh, use the chat box or the Q&A. Um, if you don't have any questions, that's fine. Uh, you can always reach us at info at talentteam.com and uh, we'll make sure that the questions are answered and we'll get back to you. Um, so I think... Please. Yes, go ahead, Arahul. Sorry, this particular slide. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Um, thanks a lot for joining. Um, um, yeah, I think uh, we'll catch you again with uh, another webinar next month. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Rahul. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Thanks, Vinisha. Thank you. Bye-bye.